hi students in this video we are going to learn about voltage controlled oscillator that is vco normally this vco is used in phase locked loop okay what is the meaning of vco from the name of vco we can say its oscillator oscillator is controlled by its input voltage what is the meaning of oscillator normally we know oscillator generate different kinds of waveform that means frequency okay so frequency is controlled by its input voltage is called vco or we can say that vco generates an output frequency that is directly proportional to its input voltage that means frequency and control voltage so this is the control voltage vc this is frequency frequency and control voltage that is linearly linear relationship between the voltage and frequency okay so let's see the pin diagram of vco so normally ic566 vco that is lm566 or ne sc566 this type is generate square wave and triangle wave output waveform so this is the 8 pin ic so here first pin ground pin and the 8 pin is vcc second pin there is no connection then third and fourth pins are the output pins third pin is square wave output fourth pin is triangle wave output then seventh pin is timing capacitor c1 and the sixth pin is timing capacitance r1 then fifth pin is modulation input that is control voltage okay here this capacitor c1 and timing resistor r1 and the control voltage these three define the output frequency okay so we know vco is the output frequency is controlled by the input voltage so that uh, here these three things are define the output frequency okay let's see the block diagram of vco so this is the block diagram of vco here this is the ic the block diagram is ic okay here this r1 and c1 are the external component in this orange color all the things are internal components of ic566 okay here this capacitance that is connected to the 7th pin resistance R1 is connected to the 6th pin power supply VCC is connected to 8th pin then control input voltage is applied to the 5th pin ok so here R1 C1 are the external component ok here there uh, we are using three uh, in this internal component there is three amplifiers one is buffer next one is schema trigger and next one is inverter okay basically it has three amplifiers and it has one constant current source and sink what is the meaning of current source and sink source means it deliver the power sink means it absorb the power so this is act as source and sink okay source means it deliver the power sink means it absorb the power so it is the constant current source and sink well let's see the operation so here we are providing the controlling input voltage so this type is relaxation type so relaxation type means that <coughs> uh, output frequency is depends upon the charging of and discharging of the capacitance okay so uh, controlling frequency by charging and discharging discharging of the capacitance is called relaxation type so this is the relaxation type of oscillator so here if you are giving the input voltage that is we are increasing or decrease the input voltage it control the <coughs> amount of current in the current source okay first we are increasing or decrease the input voltage it will control the amount of current in the current source this current source supplied a particular amount of current which will charge the capacitance okay it will supply more current it will charge rapidly already i told this is act as the current source and sink so it will absorb the error so the capacitance will discharge okay what is the meaning of source and sink source means it deliver the power sink means it absorb the power okay now the capacitor is charging and discharging that is collected in the buffer 
okay or it is uh, given to the buffer so here at the buffer the output wave is triangular wave that means capacitance charging and discharging is the output of the buffer okay so here this output is feeding to the skimmy trigger so next one is skimmy trigger so buffer output is feeding to the skimmy trigger what is the meaning of skimmy trigger the another name of skimmy trigger is regenerative comparator basically it operate only in two region okay skimmy trigger operate in two region plus v saturation and minus v saturation so here this skimmy trigger this ra or b this is the positive feedback is applied to the non inverting terminal inverting terminal that is taken from the buffer so here the vcc is up, uh, connected to the output okay so at the output level is vcc okay so plus v saturation is vcc next we find the minus v saturation voltage level so here the old, what is the voltage at this point so here if you are using voltage divider rule here the voltage is vcc into ra divided by ra plus rb okay so if you are taking that is ra rb is equal then vcc into r divided by 2r so here r r get cancelled that means the voltage is 0.5 vcc so here the output voltage swing of the skimmy trigger is designed to vcc to 0.5 vcc okay the output voltage swing of the skimmy trigger is vcc and 0.5 vcc that means if ra and rb is equal in the positive feedback loop okay voltage at the non inverting input of a2 swing from 0.5 vcc this is uh, swing from 0.5 vcc to 0.25 vcc so let's see here the output uh, now the output voltage is 0.5 vcc let's see the voltage at this point so here the total voltage is 0.5 vcc here ra and rb are equal so r divided by 2r if you are cancelling r r then we will get 0.5 divided by 2 into vcc if you are cancelling these two we are getting 0.5 to 5 into vcc so the non inverting input of a2 swing from 0.5 vcc to 0.25 vcc okay if we are uh, let's see the graph so when the voltage on the capacitance okay when the voltage on the capacitance exceed 0.5 voltage on the capacitance exceed 0.5 vcc during charging the output of the skimmy trigger goes low okay output of the skimmy trigger goes low the capacitance now discharges when it is at 0.25 vcc it is in 0.25 vcc the output of the skimmy trigger goes high okay it is repeated so skimmy trigger output the skimmy trigger uh, op, uh, trigger will operate in two levels that is vcc and 0 0.5 vcc okay so this is the output diagram so the skimmy trigger is out, uh, skimmy trigger output is given to the inverting amplifier so we will get the inverted output here so that output range is vcc to 0 0.5 vcc next we will discuss about calculation of output frequency and the frequency conversion factor the total voltage on the capacitor changes from 0 0.25 vcc to 0 0.5 vcc here the total voltage is changes from 0 0.5 vcc to 0 0.2 vcc so we can write that is del v voltage variation is 0 0.5 vcc to 0 0.25 vcc from this we can get del v is equal to 0 0.25 vcc take this is equation number one we know charge c q is equal to c into v if you are differentiating with respect to t so that is dq divided by dt is equal to c1 into dv divided by dt c1 means that external capacitance that is this capacitance c1 so here we are taking that is c1 okay so next the current value that is i equal to dq divided by dt this also we know 
okay if you are comparing equation 2 and 3 from this we will get i is equal to c1 into del v divided by del t d means del okay that is variation so here we are going to substitute the del v value so del v means that is variation of the capacitor okay 0 point that is del v value is 0 0.25 vcc substitute here from this we are going to find del t so del t is equal to 0 0.25 vcc into c1 divided by i okay then from the figure so here the current flow through the r1 resistance is we are taking that is i so here what is the i value i is v by r okay so the voltage difference between r R resistance is VCC and VC. Okay. So VCC minus VC divided by R. I is equal to VCC minus VC divided by R1. So that is the I value. So substitute this I value in del T. So here del T value is equal to 0 0.25 VCC into C1 R1 divided by VCC minus VC. Next we are going to take the time period of the triangle waveform. Triangle waveform means that is capacitance charging and discharging waveform. Okay. So here this is charging and discharging that is one cycle okay so here this is the time period t1 this is the time period t2 so the total time period is 2t 2 del t okay so the t is equal to 2 into del t so t is equal to substitute del t uh, del t value here so we will get T is equal to 0 0.5 VCC into C1 R1 divided by VCC minus VC. B no. Frequency is inversely proportional to time. So here F0 is equal to this value. If you are taking that is two, uh, 1 divided by 2 means we will get 0 0.5. So here 0 0.5 is denominator term. So we can write that is F0 is equal to 2 into VCC minus VC divided by VCC into C1 R1. This is the output frequency of the voltage control oscillator okay next we are going to see about the voltage to voltage to frequency conversion factor okay this is the important parameter so here the voltage to frequency conversion factor is de uh, denominated by kv that kv is equal to del f0 divided by del vc that is output frequency is controlled by the input voltage that is control voltage okay so that is varying frequency divided by varying voltage so here if you are taking the original frequency is f0 and the new frequency is f1 already we find the f0 value f0 value is equal to 2 into this value so next we are going to write frequency f1 so f1 is the new frequency that is changing the input controlled voltage vc is small variation okay so we are taking that small variation is del vc okay small variation is del vc so here f0 this is the old frequency, new frequency that is controlled by one small input frequency voltage. That is VCC minus VC plus del VC. Okay. So, if you are taking this F1 value and we are sub going to subtract this F1 value from this F0. Okay. So, here del F0 is equal to F1 minus F2. If you are subtract, subtracting these two, we will get that is del F0 is equal to 2 del V divided by C1 R1 into VCC. Okay. Sub, uh, here substitute this del F0 value in KV. What is KV? It is del F0 divided by del VC. So here del C, del C <coughs> get cancelled. Then case KV is equal to 2 into this value okay next with no modulating input voltage there is no modulate if you are assume that is no modulating input voltage then what is the control voltage control voltage is equal to 7 by 8 times of vcc okay control voltage is equal to 7 by 8 times of vcc so we are going to substitute this voltage value in Original frequency F0. Okay, what is the original frequency F0 value? 2 VCC minus VC divided by VCC into C1 R1. So, here substitute v, uh, VC by 7 by 8 VCC. If you are simplifying this, we will get F0 is equal to 0 0.25 divided by C1 R1. Okay, 
next we are going to substitute from this we are going to find c1 r1 value then c1 r1 is equal to 0 0.25 divided by f0 substitute this value in kv okay so here the kv value is 2 divided by c1 r1 bcc so here we are substituting the c1 r1 value then kv value is equal to 2 f0 divided by 0 0.25 vcc that is kv is equal to if you are simplifying this value then 8 f0 divided by bcc okay so here f0 is the original frequency so this is the required voltage to frequency conversion factor so this this is the voltage control oscillator hope this video is helpful to you please subscribe to watch all the upcoming videos thank you